What's up guys, it's Corey Gregory, co-founder of Muscle Farm here at Mannion's Gym. It's pretty hard to get in this place. You gotta know a couple guys. So I wanna thank Jim Mannion for letting me in and come train today. And what I'm gonna go over today is what's called the 28 method. Now, when I uh, wrote this article on bodybuilding.com a while ago, I pretty much said everybody has done 21s on curls where you do seven full, seven half, seven half, you know, that, all that noise. Well, a long time ago at the old school gym in Columbus, which I own, I went ahead and threw a really super slow regular seven after your normal seven. So go seven regular, seven really slow, almost like a slow motion. Then you do your seven at the top and seven at the bottom. And so sounds pretty easy, but it gets you a crazy pump. And what I, I like to recommend is you can really apply it to any exercise and usually do it at the end of your workout. You can do a full workout with it too. But if you're doing a normal bicep workout and you just want to throw some blood into them at the end or shoulders or whatever, it's really hard on squats at the end, coming out of the bottom in a real slow motion up and down. So I just want you guys to check it out. Hope you enjoy it. Peace. Like I said, so now we're going to start with just regular bicep curls. Uh, I'm using the fatter bar so it involves your forearms a little bit more that they had laying over there in the corner. But like I said, if you go seven regular, so I'll go ahead and go through one set. Rock out seven regular. Three. Five. Six. Seven. And when I say seven slow motion, I mean like a five count up and down. So you want to really draw that bar super slow to the top. Squeeze, slow on the way down. So most people get to about the third one on these and really start feeling them move. Get some serious blood flow quick. Really one set will light you up. And I'm using like maybe like 75 pounds ain't that heavy. But you don't want to rush through these because this is what makes the difference maker. to the top, uh, seven top, one, two, three, four, uh, six, seven, and seven at the bottom. Superset with a tricep exercise or take maybe 30 45 seconds break and then right back to the same bicep exercise. I'm also going to show you shoulders too. So, next we'll do military press. Grab the 30s. Like I said, you don't need a lot of weight. That's why a lot of times it's a finisher. Same type of thing. Boom. We'll go seven regular. Pump them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the super slow. Same way. The biggest key is a lot of people want to use momentum out of the bottom. You want to come out of the bottom just as slow as you come on the descent. Two. You feel your muscle endurance kick in like whoa. Seven at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So once again, that's the uh, little twist 28 method. You can apply it to any exercise. I'm telling you what, so I did what two total sets right there. The blood is rushing. So if you do that at the end of the workout or do a full workout like this, 
it'll just keep it different. Is it for mass? Is it for cut? I just know it messes you up real quick, and that's the key. And so you got to keep your training different and fun and effective. Check me out on Muscle Farm Pres on Twitter. Check out that Arnold series. We'll see you.